Hi everyone! In my last video I built this beautiful utility ship and today we're gonna add a fire monitor that's rotating, this A-frame that's also pivoting and rotating and this winch that's functional and we're gonna complete the bolt thruster. So stay tuned to see how you could integrate those designs into your ship. But first, enjoy this 40 second build montage from part one. I had some 120 size DC motors laying around and wondered how I could turn them into a winch. I tried magic but no trick worked until I found the magic portal, the internet. Before long I found this gearbox on one of my favorite websites. I added these little spacers to make everything smoother and I soldered this modified circuit board from a servo motor to it and it worked. Sadly, I burned the circuit board because it was made for a 9 gram servo. But I installed an ERC for brushed motors and connected it to a 3 position switch on my Skyfly. Then I drilled a hole just behind the official winch, glued this tube in place that would keep the water out and cut off one of the shafts. Then. I installed this drawer system to facilitate the maintenance. I installed a rope on my newly designed rope winder and glued everything in place. Tested the setup. Et voila! It works and it's loud. I started by brainstorming some ideas because I wanted to integrate this 9 gram servo motor so it could rotate. Sadly, installing a servo directly underneath the deck where I wanted it didn't work because of the shape of the hull. I tried some other designs and it took me a couple of tries. Those little servos only rotate at around 120 degree, but that wasn't enough for me because my expectations raised as my failures accumulated. Since it wasn't simple anymore, I decided to make it even more complicated. The rubber band idea didn't work, but this little rope worked fine. All I had to do was give the pulley a few turns on this rope, then add a drop of glue here and there, and now the whole thing works wonderfully. I installed it with this 4M screw, so the whole system is easy to access.
That's the ESC for the pump. Here's the ESC for the boat thruster. That's um, a back that converts the, the current to 5 volts. And there's another one that converts the, the current for 7.4 uh, volts. Um, we also have this little switch for the winch. We got uh, an on-off switch for the lights. And we got another on-off switch that I can't find right now. That's for the um, horn that I didn't install yet. We have the other electronics for the A-frame inside here. That's about it. Now it's time to attack my last requirement, the A-frame. I saw something that pivoted like this and made a couple of prototypes. I ordered some cylinders that sadly broke in less than 5 minutes. But I found these ones instead, who are strong but not as scale looking. To be safe, I adapted my design to integrate these limit switches. Then I slightly modified the switches so they fit inside the frame and printed the final version of it. I added those lights Then I added some inserts for the assembly and other stuff This foam will prevent water from entering. This is my favorite part of the A-frame. Finally, I can install the buoys on my own at my local club easily. And with this hook, I should be able to retrieve some boats that are stuck at our pond. The weather wasn't good for sailing this weekend, so I couldn't film any action. In the next video, you'll see what this ship is capable to do. I suggest you subscribe if you like the content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.